Hello and welcome again to another episode of Crypto Novus, where newbies become masters. And yes, my name is Chris Brown and I'm your host. Today, what I'm going to do is do a Coinbase tutorial. Now, yes, there's a lot of tutorials out there on Coinbase and on Coinbase Pro. So what makes mine different? Um, what I hope to bring to you is a more complete tutorial where we actually dig into both the Coinbase site and then Coinbase Pro. I'm going to do this tutorial in a three-part series. Um, each, each episode would be about 15 to 20 minutes per episode so that you get a, a chunk of information at a time. Then you can actually go and to the website itself and work on it. Um, I'm going to show you actually my own personal accounts and open up the, the books, if you will, and let you see kind of what I'm doing, what I've traded, um, and what coins I've invested in. Um, and then we'll look into a little bit deeper dive into some of the aspects and components of, you know, how do you, how do you as a newbie into the world of crypto actually earn some crypto for free and the platform that Coinbase has provided you with that? We'll, lack, we'll look into the company a little bit and understand, you know, as a company, why are they in the space and what are they looking to achieve and help the consumer accomplish by using their tools? Um, and then on the Coinbase Pro, we'll take a look at how that uh, platform operates a little bit, how you can trade on it, and you know, give you some information that will help equip you as you use that as well. So as always, let's go into the man cave and take a look at Coinbase. So this is the Coinbase site. Um, this is the opening page. And before we actually go through the whole signing up procedures, uh, let's take a look at the tabs across the top. Um, as you can see, if you click onto the prices button, they will give you information on the various different products or digital assets that they carry. Of course, you can see Bitcoin sitting here. It'll show its price. It'll show the price change in the day. It'll show its market cap value, and it will show whether or not you can trade Bitcoin on this site or not. As you notice, there are some digital assets like Tether that you cannot trade on the site. Here is Cardano, you can't trade that, Polkadot, Binance Coin, et cetera, et cetera. Now, if you just simply wanted to find out what you could trade on Coinbase, you would hit tradable assets. And then of course, it will then list all of the assets that you could trade on this site. It'll show you top gainers, and top losers for the day and give you percentages as to what um, they've gained or lost in the last what, 24 hours. Um, and then you can actually change this too as well um, and you know go from high to low or low to high. Uh, the next thing that they, that the next tab would be what products does Coinbase offer? Now you can see for everyone, that's generally the, the general consumer. So you've got, Coinbase, where you can buy, sell, and use cryptocurrencies. You have a wallet. You have the ability to uh, get a hold of the stable coin, the USD coin, and you can earn. And we'll talk more about earning in part two of the series. Uh, but for now, we're just going to focus on the initial onboarding. Um, there is Coinbase Pro, which will be in the third video series. And then for businesses, there is actually... Um, some tools that you can use for your business to either accept crypto. Um, if you're an actual institution, a large institution, and you wanted to trade, you could do that as well. And then there's actually the ability to raise money for crypto startups, which is all very, very good, good information and, and, and good and useful tools. So, you know, why, why Coinbase? I have personally used Coinbase for now three years. I do like the platform. It is easy to use. It is extremely, quote, user-friendly. And that was the whole point of the company. Um, so let's look in real quick on the About Us. So Coinbase was established in 2012. And basically the idea was anyone should be able to easily access and securely acquire Bitcoin or, or the other cryptos that they in fact do provide on their platform. And that was it. They wanted to make it easy for the consumer to get a hold of Bitcoin because prior to them uh, coming into existence, it was very difficult 
through various exchanges to acquire Bitcoin. So today, as you can see, 35 million people in over 100 com countries trust Coinbase, Coinbase's platform and use them to buy, sell, store, and earn cryptocurrency. Um, some of the quick stats here, you've got 35 plus million verified users. You've got over $320 billion in traded volume. Um, you have 25 billion assets on the platform, 100 companies, countries, and 1,000 employees. This is their executive team. Of course, the co-founder, Brian Armstrong. Um, his, the chief operating officer is Emily Choi. Uh, I had an article with their chief legal officer, Paul Grewal. Um, and then of course they have a board of directors that they report to. So this gives you an idea of their structure, which um, is important, I think, as you're looking at you know, whether or not you're going to invest into you know, placing your assets or buying assets on a particular platform. Um, they definitely boast about uh, 500 million plus raise from investors. And so these are the various companies that have invested into Coinbase in one way or the other. Um, and these are the larger numbers. Obviously, they're smaller individuals who have invested as well. And that's, that's it on that part of it. Their mission, let's quickly talk about the mission um, for Coinbase. Our mission is to create an open financial system for the world. And you can then therefore and read basically the three points, you know, Point number one being imagine if every payment in the world was fast, cheap, and global. Um, second point is imagine if anyone who had an idea for a product could have customers all over the world from world from day one. Um, imagine if anyone with a smartphone could access the financial services they enjoy in the developed world. So those are three key points that Coinbase is wanting to achieve with their company. The last tab is earning crypto. Um, again, we'll talk about that in, in uh, part two. So right now, let's go ahead and log in. So, you know, getting started is very easy. You can see real quickly, they, give you, they entice you by offering you $5 of free Bitcoin to start off with. So basically, let's get started. Once you've given them an email, it's just simply you put in your name, repeat the email, choose a password, Pick the location that you're at, that would be state or country. Verify that you're 18 years of age. And basically, you have started your account. As I'm signing into my account, I would strongly recommend doing the two-step verification process. It's just an added layer of security. It gives you some peace of mind and protects your assets that, are, that will be online here. So once you're into your account, basically the first opening page shows you your portfolio balance. It shows you what kind of growth you've experienced over a period of time so that you can kind of keep track of what's happening with your assets. You can change the time frame from hour, 24 hours to week, month, year, and overall. Um, down here, there's a watch list. And so these are the various different coins that I watch and they're, they're tagged by, of course, the star. Again, I've got what the going price is at the, very, at the moment, its percentage change in the day, its market cap, et cetera. Um, I can then, if I wanted to click onto the, that particular coin and look specifically at it um, and get information on the coin. So I can find out what Ethereum is, I can go to their website, I can look at their white paper, um, I can see price correlations with other coins, um, and I can find out any key news information that's pertaining to that particular coin that I may be interested in. So that's a quick overview of the coin. The next is you can click onto this tab and you can look at your actual wallet. You can quickly see how, in this case, this is Ethereum. I can see exactly how many Ether I have. I can see what the present dollar value is. And then I can see actually when I last bought it. Uh, over here to the right of the, the page, I could either send Ether or I can choose to receive it from another person's wallet. They can send it to me.
One of the other nice features about uh, Coinbase, which I think is really good, is you can set up reoccurring purchases. And basically what that means is that you're, you're doing what's called dollar cost averaging in. So you'll pick a point in time. You can, in this case, like for instance, what I've done is there is I buy $25 worth of ether twice a month. And the, the next reoccurrence will happen December 1st, which will be tomorrow. So they've got, I believe it is, uh, set up reoccurring purchases. Let's take a look at this real quick. So here's the window where I could set up a, a reoccurring purchase. It tells where account is coming from, et cetera. And then it gives me the durations. I can do a one-time purchase here at the top. I can do every day reoccurrence. I can do every week. I can do the first and 15th, or I can do the month. So they give you five different ways that you can do repeat purchases if you in fact care to do so. And then of course, you just simply set up an account that goes along with it. And you go in and you can buy your coin automatically. So like I said, in my case, I buy Ether twice a month, the 1st and the 15th. Um, again, here's the repeat in terms of how much Ether I have and then what the dollar value is. And then I just, as I just scroll down, it just simply repeats all the Ether that I presently have and, and when the purchases, in fact, were made. The last feature for, for each coin is a vault. And this is a vault where you can actually store crypto on the Coinbase site and platform if you'd like to. That won't be my recommendation. Um, if you're going to just simply store crypto somewhere and hold it, then I would definitely pull it off onto a, an own individual wallet that then you control and that you keep. I wouldn't keep it here, obviously, on the platform. Although I will say Coinbase has never had an issue with theft, um, and they pride themselves in that. And that is another, reasons why, another reason why I'm very comfortable with this particular platform. So when you click onto the portfolio tab, again, it takes you to your portfolio. You still have the same thing, balances here, a chart basically showing how your asset, your total assets are doing or your total portfolio is doing um, based on whatever time increment you place up here. Um, there is something about coin, the Coinbase card, which we'll get into tomorrow. There is rewarding or staking here. You, so you can see how much you've earned. In this case, I've earned $1.21 in my lifetime awards. And that is broken down through, I've earned it through DAI and through Tezos. Again, we'll talk about that another time. And then you can actually look at the assets you presently have. So this is what I presently own. So I've got in this account, I have other accounts, but in this account, I've got 0.21 Bitcoin or around $4,000. It's 55% of my total um, asset portfolio. Ethereum is the next one at 48, 40%, um, at four, almost five ether. Um, next is Tezos, you have Chainlink, uh, you have Bitcoin SV, and we'll scroll down and look at the rest. As you can see, primarily what I hold here is Bitcoin and ether. Um, that's coin number one and coin number two, so it's kind of logical as to why. But the rest of the coins that I have, and we'll talk about this in, in part two, has to do, these are, are digital assets that I got for free. And I did it through Bitcoin's educational platform on Coinbase, where I learned about the coin and, and the, I then therefore earned uh, a, a portion of a digital asset or dollars associated with this coin. So as you can see, I have ESO, EOS, I have Compound, DAI, Maker, uh, Bitcoin Cash and Litecoin, I've actually purchased those. And then there are other coins down here which I could either purchase or I could actually earn as well. But we'll get into the earning tomorrow when we do part two. These buttons up here on the top right, the one that's blue is trade. Again, this is where you could buy, sell, or do a conversion. Um, buying and sell speaks for themselves. The conversion is this. If I have Bitcoin and I want to convert that into Ethereum, so here, if I wanted to take some of my Bitcoin here and I wanted to buy more Ether, I could do so in this particular box and convert the coin. And then it would tell me, you know, what, what I have left of Bitcoin and how much I've got of Ether. And it'll make the exchange between the two. Um, like I said before, it's if you quickly want to send and receive, here's the send button. Basically, you have, 
it, the address that you were sending to, you can make a note and then you can say whether you're paying with what kind of coin, whether it's Bitcoin, whether it's Ether, Tezos or whatever I choose to, to send to that other person, I can send them that. And then the, the same is true for the receiving end, right? Um, there's an address in a wall that you can use with that as well. Um, so that right there pretty much sums up opening an account. It's really straightforward and simple to do. Kind of gives you a layout of what the different tabs and pages are here um, on in your account once it is opened up. Oh, before I forget, I didn't do the notification bell. This is just notifications that you receive like in my case, I earned some staking rewards of just two cents on Tezos. So it gave me an announcement there. And then they've given me some news updates as well that might pertain to my, the assets that I presently have. And then the last, so I trust that that was very helpful um, in giving you some information on just to simply first how you open up a Coinbase account, how you look through the actual account and platform itself, and I look forward to seeing you in part two, um, where we talk about staking, earning interest, and the credit card uh, aspects to uh, the Coinbase platform. So once again, this is Crypto Novus. My name is Chris Brown. And remember, Crypto Novus is where newbies become masters. Have a blessed day.